The heart is the transport system pump. The delivery routes are the blood vessels. Using blood as the transport medium, the heart propels oxygen, nutrients, wastes, and other substances to and past the body cells. Your goals for learning are to review the anatomy of the heart, to review the pulmonary and systemic circuits, to review the anatomy of a cardiac muscle cell. To see definitions of terms, click the bold red words. Choose an anatomy view, then click the heart to see an enlargement. Click the heart to see a superficial cutaway view. Click the heart to see a deep cutaway view. Click the heart to see an external view. Click the heart to see a superficial cutaway view. Click the heart to see a deep cutaway view. Click the heart to see an external view. Click the heart to see a superficial cutaway view. The heart consists of two side-by-side -side pumps. The blood vessels are the pipes that carry blood throughout the body. In this animation, we see that the right atrium and right ventricle pump oxygen-poor, carbon dioxide-rich blood to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood receives oxygen, eliminates carbon dioxide, and travels back to the left atrium of the heart. From the left atrium, the oxygen-rich, carbon dioxide-poor blood is pumped out to the body by the left ventricle. When the body has depleted the blood's oxygen, the veins return the blood to the right atrium of the heart and the cycle continues. This animation shows the same information that we saw on the previous page. Oxygen-poor blood is pumped from the right side of the heart to the lungs. Here it receives oxygen and travels back to the heart. This pathway is the pulmonary circuit, so called because of the lungs. The pathway for the systemic circuit includes the entire body as the left side of the heart pumps oxygen-rich blood out to the body's tissues and organs. After the blood's oxygen is depleted, it returns to the right side of the heart via the venous system. Let's take a look at a magnified view of the heart wall. In these histological sections, we see three typical structures found in heart muscle, nuclei, intercalated discs, and cardiac myofibrils. Hi. I'd like you to pay attention to the two kinds of cell junctions in the intercalated discs. The desmosomes, as you'll remember, are anchoring junctions that hold adjacent cells together. When the muscle cells contract, they pull on each other. If it wasn't for the desmosomes, the heart would literally pull itself apart in doing its job. The other type of junctions, the gap junctions, are important for a different reason. They allow the stimulating impulse to move across the heart from cell to cell so that the heart beats as an entire unit. If each cardiac muscle cell were allowed to do its own thing, the heart would be useless as a pump. Here's a summary of what we've covered. To access cross-references for this topic in your Benjamin Cummings textbook, click here.